What's up YouTube, this is Electroshack and today I'm going to be rooting this LG Nexus 4. So let's get right into it and go into settings. I'm going to scroll down to about phone. And click on build number a couple of times until it says you are now a developer. It's going to say you have three steps left, two steps left, one left up to become a developer. Make sure it says you are a developer. That's how it's going to come up as developer options. After you do that, make sure your USB debugging is enabled. If you do not have it, you're going to have some troubles. All right. So now what you need to do is just plug in your phone to the uh, USB cable and then connect that to your computer and then put your phone to the side for now. All right. Now we go back. Now we go into the uh, into the computer here and download and install this Google Nexus Toolkit 1.3. I'm gonna. The link is going to be in the description below. Uh, make sure you check it out. It's going to be it's from XDA Developers. Go ahead and install it, and then open up Nexus 4 Toolkit. Once you install it, it's going to be it's going to be an application on your on your computer here. It's going to say starting ADB. Um, always make sure that there is an update. Um, make sure that all your stuff is is updated all the way. Okay. So now it's going to update and make sure that all the stuff is updated and good to go. Auto update feature is only available in the donator group. That's okay, whatever. We're going to hit continue. And then we're going to click on the only one option that we have. Just make sure it hits one and then enter. Okay, so now we have this big toolkit action. These uh, these many, 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 many choices here. Um, just before I begin, I want to have a disclaimer. I am not responsible for anything that happens to your phone. You are doing this on your own time and choice. Okay, so now we're going to go down and we can, you can read through all this. You can install the drivers. You can back up and restore your device. I already installed the drivers. Just hit one, enter, and then follow through the instructions. It's going to install your drivers that, that are necessary for the program here. You can unlock your bootloader. You can root your phone. You know, um, you can rename recovery. Um, you can flash it. There's so many things to do, but the one option I want you guys to focus on right now is number eight, one click for all. This is going to uh, unlock your bootloader, root it, and then rename it. It's going to install super user, and it's going to install a custom recovery. So we're going to hit eight and then enter. Now we have a choice. We can have Super User 3.1.3 or Super SU.98. It doesn't really matter to me which one you guys want to choose. I'm just going to go with number two. I'm going to hit enter. Now we have a choice of custom recovery options. We can do Clockwork Touch Recovery or Touch Recovery 2.3.2.3. I'm going to go ahead and do number two because it's, I like it better because it's, it's touch based. Now it's going to unlock the bootloader. What I need to do is I'm not in fast boot mode right now. I'm going to go into it. So I'm going to hit no. Because that's what it says. It says type no to reboot the to reboot to fast boot mode. I'm not in fast boot mode right now. So on your phone, it's going to it's going to reboot your phone into fast boot mode. Just give it a minute. All right. So my phone did turn off, and now I feel it vibrating. Okay. So this is fast boot mode. Okay. Now it's going to boot back into Android. What's what it just did is basically push fast boot through it. And now it's rebooting, and it's going to enable the phone again. What it's going to erase all of your all of your information. So make sure you make sure you back up everything that you have on your phone. It's going to leave everything. It's going to be like a brand new phone. All right. So now the phone is back up and running. Just going to close out of this. Okay. Now the procedure on the on the program is going to continue within 30 seconds. So just give it some time here. All right. Now it says waiting for USB debugging to be enabled. It's already enabled on my phone. Now it's going to reboot back into fast boot mode. All right. Now this is fast boot mode. All right. Now it's going to download and do its necessary things. This is all automated, so you don't have to really press anything during the process. Once again, this will delete all of your data, so make sure you have everything backed up before you do this. Alright, so the phone is booted up.
All right, now it's going to be pushing and doing its necessary things. All right, so it's gonna be a bunch of words and stuff on your thing. Just let it do its thing, the whole process is automatic. All right, so now it's gonna boot back into fast boot mode one more time. Now it's going to flash the custom recovery that we chose earlier. All right. Alrighty now, so the phone is done and it's rooted. I'm going to double check it and show you. The process was very easy, guys. It's very, it's very easy to use thanks to Mark Skippin. Um, please give him a thanks on XDA Developers. All right, now go ahead. I'm gonna unlock the phone to show you. Scroll over and there it is, Super User SU. Super User SU. So I'm gonna click on it. Alrighty then. Now we have the phone is rooted. Now you can go ahead and install any ROM that you guys want to. I'm going to be installing ROMs on a monthly basis. I'm going to install ROMs once a month. Please do suggest any ROMs that you guys want to see uh, me reviewing. I'm going to review them for one month. Oh, I'm getting a call. But uh, all right, guys. So that's so that's it. How you root? Thank you. Like, rate, comment, and subscribe.